Hey everybody, I'm Doug Bell and this here's the Hot Rod Show. Check this out. That's an Italian hot rod, ladies and gentlemen. An Italian hot rod. Woohoo! Come on, let's see what cool cars we're going to be showing on the show today. And welcome to Ken Shed, and here we are with our audience, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! We, we managed to drag some people down again to be on the show, but what are you doing in there, Braden? Well, Doug, I jumped in to have a look at our guest Peter here's Model A, and I'm struggling to get out. Well, so you better get out. You, you make a good car look bad. <laughs> Might have to disliminate. Peter, this is pretty Thank cool. You. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, Peter? While, while we're having a look at Peter's car, we're going to get everyone else to clean their hands because we always start with clean hands from CRC. Peter. Woo up there, Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pete, Peter gets a little excited at times. <laughs> there you go, Dennis's mum. How'd you like to have that? Now, while everyone's cleaning their hands with our CRC product, we're going to introduce you to Peter and his beautiful Model A Touring. Peter. Tell us a little bit about your car, please. You know, like, um, you know, where you come from, how long you've had your car, and, you know, then we'll sort of start to get into a little bit more about what it is. I originally bought the parts for this in 1968. I'm yeah. An American deep freeze uh, serviceman who was operating uh, out of Christchurch. Okay. And uh, I've actually had it uh, long and I've been married, and I've long been married 46 years. Woo! 46 <laughs> years, that's doing pretty good. It's been on the road since 1970. 1970, wow. 77. Could, could you lift the, the, the bonnet up yes. or the hood up? So, what are you running, Peter? Uh, 350 share for the Turbo 400. Wow, that's. Pretty compact in there, isn't it? You, you, you'd pretty much need Vaseline to get that in and out, wouldn't you? The same as you do to get in behind the behind steering wheel. <laughs> Where do you put it on your hips? Yeah. yeah. I was um, talking to you before, Peter, about your paint job, and you were saying it was 18 years old. Yeah, it's around about that. Yeah. It was, 18 uh, year old paint job. It was originally red and black when I first months built old. it. Yeah. I see your, um, your, your wipers, although the wiper arms aren't on there, but that, that's definitely a, um, an aftermarket product. Yeah, they're off a 1963 uh, Rambler. Rambler, Rambler, I think. Yeah. Wow, just looking around here. Beautiful um, radiator emblem in it. Eh? What, what, no, what, what is that off? What's the original it's car? A, it's a Quail. It was originally an optional extra for um, you know, deluxe Model A's. And that's deluxe Model A's, is it? Yeah. Wow, so it actually is a Model A um, aftermarket yes, item. Yes, yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you, you'll notice like the, the independent front suspension so what, uh, the, what this is a, 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 is that Volkswagen? No, it's a, that's an Andy Sway bar, which I made up myself. Oh, right. Uh, the rest of the suspension's a uh, Austin Westminster 110. Yeah, well, I see a member of the East Bay Hot Rods, or East Bay Rod Club in, up here in Auckland. Yes, yes. Um, well, this is, this is really, this is very much a traditional hot rod, you know. They, they call them tubs. Um, they do. So do you, do you have a name for your one? No, it's just, you don't. just the old girl. The old girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that, that, that roof and like, like the colour of the roof and the stance, it, it's pretty gangsterous, isn't it? Yeah, it's a stock, a stock body. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. If, if, you, if you watch The Untouchables, you know, then, then you see this car, it's almost like straight out of the movie. Yes, yes. Well, should I have a look inside? Well, that's, um, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice. You could sit and look at that dashboard for a long way down the road. Good sounds? Sorry. <laughs> Do you have a good sound? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. It gets a bit cold in the back, though. It gets a bit cold in the yeah, back. Yeah. Because the roofs are only supposed to be on when it snows, though, you know, <laughs> yeah. as the story goes. <laughs> People right. ask, ask you what happens when it rains, and the yeah. answer is you get wet. The, um, been like long trips on it. What's the furthest trip you've taken? Uh, I've spent Christchurch three times, I yeah. think. Uh, Wangarei. No problems? Or, no, no. Yeah. Or around yeah. North Island. I just I just jump in and see see how oh, see if you fit see if I fit. <laughs> Turn it round. That way. I don't have. This. <laughs> well, that's tight. <laughs> there be there be no no, no monkey business in the car like for me. Eh? It's, it's okay, okay for, for you. me. Yeah. Well, I guess I could fit. 
I'd be happy. <laughs> it's a bit like the sea cam. It's, yes. it's, um, I like the, the little the, the side um, splatter guards. Wow, that's pretty cool. Can we uh, chuck your bonnet down, Peter, and give her a start her up and yeah, give her sure. a roar, eh? If I can. That's just a purr. That's beautiful. Give it a rim. That's nice. Nice, eh? That's good. So, so, so how does it go up a hill past some trucks? <laughs> oh, fairly easily. Yeah. <laughs> and do you like doing it? Uh, on uh, passing lanes, yeah. Uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, vision out of the out of the vehicle backwards is, is fairly restricted, so yeah. you're very careful when you pull out the pass yeah. anyone because you've only got little. Yeah. But you, you're going to get a lot of eyeballs at you, aren't you, when you wherever you go? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Right. And like your wheels, what, what what kind of wheels have you got on this? Uh, they're just uh, well aftermarket uh, smoothie wheels. Smoothies, yeah. yeah. Okay. Peter, you, we might as well jump out of the car now and we'll talk to you a bit, about, um, a bit more about the outsides of the car. Can you tell us a little bit about the history, Peter? We've seen a few old Rod Run stickers on your windscreen there. And... Uh, there's a few there. The um, one in the top corner there was a club that belonged to in New Plymouth where I actually uh, finished the car off and got it on the road and that was from 1978. 1978? Oh, yeah. Scenic City Hot Rod Club. 85. You've been to many Wakatani no, I haven't. No? Sorry. Oh, well. Oh, you're missing out. <laughs> there, there, there's always a chance. Man, and like you say, that the paint, how old did you say the paint job was again? Uh, 18 years. 18 it's years. Just about run its uh, dash now. Man, it's, it's had some good care. Do you use many mother's products on it? Yes, yep. You do use mother's yeah, products that, on uh, it? Yeah. Uh, Is there anything on the stand there that you use? The, uh, what's the top red one? Well, we'll have to give you a bottle of that when you go. Oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> and send a couple more in the post. Okay, Peter. Well, thank you so much for bringing your Model A on the show, man. We, we really appreciate it. That's a it's a um, it, You know, it, it's just a stunner. It, it, you see these on the road all the time, you know, and it, they just look beautiful. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you. Give a round of applause yeah. Peter. the Hot Rod Show in Blenheim, and we're at Big Shed Customs with Mark. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Yeah, real good, Doug. Good yeah, Mark, well, I've got to shake your hand because this yeah, is TV. Mike. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Well, anyway, this is a great place to be in Blenheim. The beautiful sunshine, everybody. And, um, well, you know, what more can I say? We're in Blenheim. We're in the mainland, finally. That's it, the mainland. The mainland. It, you never hear the North Island being referred to as the mainland. It's always the South Island. Well, it has to be, mate. It, it, has it is to the be. mainland. It is. Uh, anyway, let's go and have a look at some of these cars. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We're looking at this beautiful car of yours, and yep. you um, tell us a, just tell us a little bit about it because you really haven't decided what it's going to be yet, and well, what year it's going to be. That's right. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I sort of made the rear quarter paddles based on like a 37, 38ish type thing, um, and that's probably where it's stopped. Really, the guard, the the rear guards. I'm just sort of got an idea in my head and making them. Uh, the roof. It's a convertible retractable roof. So yeah, it comes down to what I what I do in the front, and I'm just I've got a few ideas bouncing yeah. between the ears, but I'm just not sure which way to go. You know, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see, yeah, man. Yeah. After looking at some of the things you're doing here, yeah. it, it's it's gonna be a surprise. It will but, actually. But what's really surprising about this though, is is the is the size of the door. Well, and um, tell us what that's. I I've, I've always had this this car in my head for years how I wanted to do it. And I really wanted the whole side to open out on it, you know? Yeah. Because it's going to be a four-seater. Mm -hmm. So, hey, why not do something different? Why not just make one large door open the whole side of the car out, suicide door it, just awesome, eh? It, and, and, and be different. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah. I like, I've never, I've, you know, like when they introduce the third door in some cars, yeah. you know, the, but this is... This is yeah. a whole different thing, man. This is. But one thing I must add is that Mark has built this whole car. He he, he hasn't like started off with bits and pieces from out, you know other cars and that. The, all these panels they're all hand done, aren't they're they? They're all handmade. Yeah. 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 This is just so, you know that's just something a little different. Everything the the, the firewall everything is all yeah. hand done. Yeah. 
So we'll, get, we'll put an aluminium door skin on it. This was just a skin I, I wheeled up uh, one morning so I can get a shape of where I need to be. Right. So that when I when I do the finished article, the finished skin, I've got a bit of a template. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, it's it's, it's going to be... Because you're going to do cool. the big door on both sides, Big right? door on both sides. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. You'll be able to catch a lot of white bait. And catch a lot of wind if someone opens one, <laughs> eh? <laughs> well, that, that's, that's a big scoop, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's pretty cool, you know? That's going to... Um, so it's a, it's a retractable uh, hood off a late model car. Yeah. Um, so the, the back of the roof comes up, the uh, base inside comes up, and everything and falls down. Falls down away. Yeah. And yeah. We, you don't, do you have an idea of what year it may be done? Uh, gee, I would really have loved it done this year, yeah. but we've just been too busy and haven't been able to do it. So it's, um, You've got a V10 Ford in here? Yeah, we have, yeah. 6.8 litre F250 V10 Ford. My, my brother lives in, uh, in, in the States and um, one of the guys wrecked one of their trucks. So this was the motor and he rang me up one day and asked me if I wanted it. I said, yeah, so he boxed it up and sent it over to me. So I was going to put an LS3 type engine in it, yeah. but hey, this is cool. Yeah, the, the, old, the old V10, they, they sound a little bit different from yeah, everything else. They've got a little bit more do. torque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, the whole car is going to be different, so yeah. we want to be different with the engine Bizarre, as well. Bizarre, man. I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what front end you put on this, man, because like with what your handiwork you know, gets turned to, it's, yeah. it's going to be interesting. Mark, we're here with these two beautiful Mustangs now. Yep. Would you like to tell us a little bit about them? I know we've, we've, got a, we've got a Cobra here and we've got a Boss over here. Well, um, yeah, we've got the, it's actually the Shelby. A Shelby, Shelby GT500. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this car's a bit of a, it's got a bit of a cool story to it, yeah. really. It was a Playboy courtesy car at uh, Lake Geneva. Okay. In the States, 1968. Yeah. And, um, and then uh, Don Adams, Maxwell Smart, mm -hmm. drove it on his Get Smart TV he show. He did a few episodes in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll have to look for those. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, the thing that's really cool about this car is that it's been all around the world and yeah. it comes here and we get to work on it. You get you know? to work on it. What, what have you done to it, actually? Well, we had, we had it stripped right back to nothing. Yeah. Engine out, transmission diff yeah. out. Everything was off it. Stripped right back to the steel. Every nut and bolt was out. The engine's been all reconditioned. Transmission diff. Everything's been 100% reconditioned and then put back together. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The original wheels back onto it. And yeah. Everything 100% back how it should have been and was in 1968. Wow. Yeah. She's funny. Now yeah. the 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 Boss 302. The Boss 302. Yeah. Yeah. This is another really cool car. Um, this is a local car. It's been in town for a while now. Uh, so we stripped right back to steel and and engine out, repainted all the engine bay, um, had the seats re-trimmed and, and repainted it, brought it back to how it should be looking. Yeah, pretty it, awesome. She's and beautiful. it's pretty cool that today is, is the day of the yeah, Mustang. It's Mustang Day. Mustang Day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, 60 years? 50 years. 50 years, 50 years, 50 years yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, the day of the Mustang. Wow. Yeah. How about that 50 years of the Mustang and we're recording it today? It's yeah. almost as old as you and I. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm here at the Store Pro workbench with um, Dennis from Swiss Tracks. Hey Dennis. You Hi, might have buddy. seen Dennis before in his beautiful Lamborghini. We're just going to go through some CRC products and see what Dennis would like to take home with him. <laughs> what about um, Mass Pro Airflow? We've got what everyone has and everyone uses, oh, 556. I don't know any garage that doesn't have that product. Um, any preferences? Well, we, we use the, the 556 commonly, we use the brake clean products. Uh, there's a lot of the products we do use, but the one we've been blown away way by here that we found here at the, the show is the hand cleaner towels, which we'd never seen before. Beautiful product, they beautiful are, product. They are absolutely amazing for work and field or in the garage to wipe off the grime before you go inside. Keep your employees clean. So we've already yeah. made a commitment to be put, supplying that to our staff for our workshops. Well, well, Dennis, here you go. Here's your first tub. <laughs> Thank I hope you. keeps you and your employees nice and clean, <laughs> it eh? Certain, certainly will. Thanks, Dennis. Okay, Mark, well, we're standing here beside something that a lot of people are not going to recognise very easily, but this is a... 1922 Cadillac. It, it's beautiful. Oh, it's uh, something else, eh? Uh, when we got on the yard here today, the first thing I saw was this Cadillac. And yep. um, we all know that Rolls-Royce is a poor man's Cadillac, and this yep. here is the real thing. Yep. Um, t t tell us a little bit about it before we start looking inside. Well, I don't know too much on the history of the car, but uh -huh. uh, we got it when we got it here. It was still in its original paint. Yes, and which was uh, dark navy blue. Okay. Yeah, and black, and it still had all its int original interior in place. 
So it was still an original car. It was all patinaed and so on. Um, but it, slight, it had been sanded. Someone had started sanding okay. it down. So, yeah. you know, yeah, the owner decided he was going to... Uh, carry it on. Carry it on, yep. So once again, we stripped all the paint off it, right back to nothing, and... Um, Gone yeah. at it, attacked it. This this is this is a serious car. Oh, you it know, is. Like for like for everything, I'm just standing here looking. Like the, the little the little side light lenses, yep. you know. Yeah. Um. The the, the 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 there's just so much detail Detailed. in this car. That's right. Everything's it, detailed. Let, let, let's have a look inside. This thing is just. It's just back. absolute. Look at look at that wood. Yeah, it's all timber. And it's all, all nice timber, leather, and uh, suede suede hood lining, just smell it you know just this is a king awesome. and queen's car yeah it is that it's a movie star car yeah it's yeah. just i mean like the, the amount of chrome even yeah um, yeah the amount of chrome you know it's, it, it's and so it's left hand drive you've done all the work to it yep, yep. and so well, tell us about some of the things you say that's got it's got six volt and 12 volt well originally the car is a six volt system yes uh so the starter is a, is a starter generator it's a six volt okay. setup so we can't change that yeah so um just put a few creature comforts in there, you know. So we, we mounted a uh, an alternator that runs off the drive shaft. Right. So it's got its own separate 12 volt system as well. Yes. So we fitted a stereo into it, and you can run the GPS off it. And uh, we've got LED lights all through it. All the interior lights are LED, and the, the driving lights are central. Central, central uh, locking. Central locking. A as central well. locking Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. We put central locking in it as well, um, just to make things yeah. easier. Yeah. You know, just make it easier for now instead it's, of trying to fumble with the key you know it's a yeah. she's just beautiful man yeah. can look under the hood i know you said it, it isn't all polished and shiny under here but it's just going to be good to show people that yeah. this is a v8 this is a v8 yeah, and um v v8s didn't start with henry ford they, no, they started right. with cadillac yeah back in about 1916 i think it was yeah 1916 was the first yeah. cadillac v8 yeah yeah so that's, uh, that's an interesting motor uh, i think it's 313 cubic inch so it's a fairly big old thing. Like, unlike a flat V8 that has exhaust coming out that side, yeah. the inlet and outlet is all up on the top. That's right, yeah, yeah. And it's got the uh, the exhaust gases go over the top to uh, warm the petrol, right. I guess, to, in the, on the cold yeah. weather. Yeah. And, and the, the, the light there, I can hold this yep. if you wanted to. Yeah, the inspection light. This is an uh, inspection light. comes out and it's on a lead so you can take it to wherever it is you need to yeah. around the car, which is which is pretty cool. What, what, what is the length of the lead? Do you uh, know? I think it's about three and a half metres. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a big snake. It, it is, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is that's that is a serious engine. So about three and a half litres? Uh, oh, no. The, uh, 313 cubic 313 inch. 313 cubic inch. Yeah. So That'll pull a few stumps out. I'd reckon it would, eh? There's a lot of talk there. A lot of talk, yeah, it's all talk, eh? I told you about yeah, talk before. a bit before. like us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> all talk and no do. Yeah, yeah. I think you're a lot of do, though, man. <laughs> From what I've seen here, you're a serious amount of do. Oh, thanks, mate. Not do-do, but do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> oh, this, cool th this is just absolutely beautiful. Like, the, the radiator and the headlights on yeah, this thing. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, everything, everything about it just... Uh, it's a style. It does, doesn't it's it? A style. It's style, you know. Yeah. It's attention to detail and yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's magnificent. Eh? You know, big twenty-three inch wheels. Yeah. They're massive big things. What are you saying? About six hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, something like that. I think. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's That's, like coming down to the South Island has been so worth it to see this. I, yeah. I didn't expect to see something, you know, as grand. Yeah, right. Eh? It's, yep. a, it's a grand car, you yeah, know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. Yeah, it's 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 not far off the the horseless carriage, is it? You know, like like with the with the door handles there. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's not a lot of aerodynamics. No, none. You know, and the big high sides to it, and the big glass. You know, yeah. just like the old horseless yeah. carriage, I guess. Eh? The, the, yeah. the, the steering wheel. We've got to have just one glance at that because that's it. Ain't not a, a round steering no, wheel. No, it's not. Eh? It's, yeah. it's a beautiful wooden. Um, how many angles is that? Oh, gee, ten or twelve it? angles. Yeah, probably. What I would suppose. you call that? Not an octagon. A lot. A lot of angles. <laughs> the, the stop and, and turn lights yes. on on the back. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What was, was are those original? Do you know? Uh, it only had one, so yeah. we had another one made. Okay, yeah. Um, we had Phil Huddy and Christchurch Metal Spinners. Okay. Uh, spin what, up what, another. Which, which metal spinners? Christchurch Metal Spinners. Christchurch. Well, there you oh, go, ladies and gentlemen. Christchurch. Hutt, Phil Huddy Metal Spinning. Sorry. Phil Huddy. Phil Huddy Metal Spinning Phil in Christchurch. Phil Huddy Metal Spinning. Yeah. You, you, you go see Phil. Tell him you heard him mention on the Hot Rod yeah. Show, and Mark here is giving him the reference. Yeah, that's Phil Huddy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just in case you didn't see. <laughs> and, <laughs> Mark, we just can't go past this little toy. Can you tell us just a little bit about it? Okay. Um, I made this for my daughter, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, so 
I, I actually made her a little 32 type thing first and, and that was uh, 12 volt. Is that out. the one inside? The little purple one inside, yeah. yeah. And she got a bit too big for it, so I thought I'll make her something more, something yeah. bigger. So we were thumbing through a Hot Rod magazine and we seen this cool picture of this 40 uh, classic yeah, yeah. convertible type thing, you know, a 40 yeah. Deluxe. And I thought, hey, that is awesome. And she loved the picture, so I said, hey, I'll make one. Yeah. So um, started making it, you know. And it took me a couple of years because there's 600 odd hours going into this. It's a lot of time, like when you look at the front and how it's all done, it's, yeah. it's a real 40 Ford. Yeah, it is. You yeah, know? so um, I've made up a full chassis for it. It's got independent front suspension yeah. in it. Well, I what's, narrowed, what, what's the suspension off? Uh, I just... Made it. I made it, yeah. I um, Improvised. I um, scaled a picture of a Heights front end out okay. of a magazine. And so I made it to scale to fit the car. Um, um, so a, a V-twin? A v yeah, it's a 16 horse Briggs and, Trat, uh, Briggs and Stratton V-twin. Um, so it's about 900 odd cc's or a something. A little get up and go there. It goes alright, we've got a hydrostatic um, transmission in the back, so it's got forward and reverse on it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, um, as you can see, it's had a fair old beating, eh? Yeah. You know, all the kids from around the block and, and across the road and, and that it used to come in and get on it and in it and well, up and down have the road. To, wouldn't they? Oh, absolutely right, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. Even but, got a Mexican steering wheel? Yeah, Mexican steering wheel. I bought that at a swap meet in Pomona. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Were, Couldn't go past not, it, eh? Not many people haven't been to a swap meet in Pomona. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. And yeah, bought something home, you got to bring something home, yeah. even if it's a cold. That's it. Yeah. So, um... Okay, we're here again with Dennis from Swiss Tracks Flooring. Dennis, thank you for being here once again. And we've got this beautiful Lamborghini Super Leghera. Now, a lot of you have seen Lamborghinis on TV and very few of you would have seen them on the roads, but here we've got one right on our TV set. Dennis, why do you have a Lamborghini? I ask my, that, myself that sometimes. Um, as I grew and, up... And, and, and you give yourself <laughs> the same answer every time? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, as I grew up, I always loved the Lamborghini Kuntak. Um, always wanted one, dreamed yeah. about getting one, and um, as I've um, uh, worked harder, yeah. um, I had the opportunity um, to, to pick this car up. It's one of only two in the country. Uh, it's the uh, Super Leggera Edizione Technica. Say that uh, once again. Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggero Edizione Technica. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think we've had enough of that one. I can't repeat it. So, yeah, time's um, up. Well, so what, what, what about your mother, Dennis? Can, can, can you repeat that? No. No, you, and you said you wouldn't give them sixpence for the car either, would you? No. <laughs> so what draw you to this specific model, Dennis? Oh, I, I, I like um, cars that are a little bit different. Um, yep. This uh, run-of-the-mill cars, even in supercars, there's run-of-the-mill cars. Uh, this is a special edition one. And uh, it's just got a few extras on it. That, um, so how really long has nice. it been parked in your shed for? It spends most of its time parked in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's actually going to be used as a, a bit of a show car when we do our, our um, flooring exhibitions yep. and that sort of thing. So Dennis, is Lamborghini from right V10? V10, yep, 5.2 litre V10. What are we to 100? Uh, 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds. Ooh. That's quick, isn't it, Douglas? That's very quick, Brayden. <laughs> 3.4. It's just wow. quick enough, yeah. And, 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 like, and like zero to 60 and then stopping? Um, Never had to I'm stop. Tried that. Never had to stop. <laughs> so how do we get in and have a look at that? Yeah, the, uh, this is terrific. Well, I'll just open the microwave for you. The microwave. <laughs> it's all carbon fiber with plexiglass window. <sighs> That's got a nice smell. So, the air intake, that's, that's the <laughs> yep. big air filter thing. Yep. Wow. Olio, is that oil? I've yet to find a service station that sells Olio. Olio. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you know, did, like, I mean, what, what's, what's that thing? Well, there used to be a day when I used to do all the work on my cars myself. I yeah, now, admit, I'm so busy with the with, with business that uh, I tend to let the uh, specialists do it, and particularly with this <laughs> yeah. guys at Independent Prestige um, that called me up when it was available. Yeah, um, they offer all the support on In it. So. Independent Prestige, they're on the North Shore. No, they're over in um, in the city, part of the Giltrap Group. Oh, Giltrap. Yep. Okay. Um, my business has a fleet of vehicles from there, and, yes. and Independent's part of them. Wow. They, knew, they knew I was interested in, a, in something a bit different, so when this became available they contacted me. And so how long have you had it once again? 
Uh, got it in January. January yeah. of, of this year? This year, so not long. Well, you, you, your mum reminded me just before that, she said, you know, before she, she wouldn't give me sixpence for it, now she said she'd like to have it in her, in her shed. Yeah, I drove her out here in it today and she's, yeah. uh, she was surprised at how nice it is. Yeah, did she, did she tell you to slow down at all? Yes. She did? <laughs> well, she's a good mother. <laughs> That's what all mothers are supposed to do. So um, there's got to be something special about the wheels and... Yeah, I believe they're a forged alloy wheel as opposed to the standard uh, alloys. So they're a super strong, super lightweight alloy wheel. So you wouldn't have a spare tyre in here anywhere? Nope, <laughs> no. There's a um, uh, kit for, for, for pumping, it, pumping it back up oh, wow. in the event of a problem. But um, it's all ceramic brakes and all, all the good gear. Okay, Dennis, well, I tell you what, when I saw you pull up in this thing, one thing that really took me was all, all the buttons. Um, I like buttons. Can we have a look inside to just... Feel free. Just to see, you yep. could, do you know what they all are? No. You don't? <laughs> wow. That's not for big people to hop in. <laughs> you wouldn't want to take a big girl out on a date on a car like this. We'll go out with a big guy. Wow, look at all these. This is pretty, um, I've never sat in a Lamborghini before. Yep. Wow. It's a bit like an aircraft uh, with some of the it controls is. on it, but um, like you, you, your the view that you get to look at is is literally that big. Yep, it's all you need. It is all you need, <laughs> <laughs> and the paddle. So, did it take a while to get used to the paddle steering? Yes, the yes, paddle, it does. You know, gear changing. Yep. And it does. You've got different modes you can drive it in. Uh, you can actually run it in automatic, but it's not it's not the nicest way it's, to drive it. No. So I not drive it in normal, but then you can go to sport. Or if you really want to get carried away, you can go to Corsa. Corsa? Okay. That's full race. Full race, wow. There's a lot of, um, a lot of this carbon fibre in here. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's, um, I've heard people making comments of with the value of the car, well, couldn't they put proper door handles on? Yeah, wow. It's, uh, it's, um, <laughs> it's well, all, all done for lightweight. It's, it's just weight in it. It's just racing. Yep. And these, man, that, that looks pretty special. Yep. What, what's it? It's a re reversing camera? Yeah. Ah, look who's behind us. Look at him. <laughs> Hi, Braden. There's all sorts of hazards on the road. Yeah, <laughs> and behind you. <laughs> wow, this is... Man, I could go for a long ride in this thing. You'd be like, it's it, 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 not, it, not a full harness? No, no. no just, just stand, a regular lap and shoulder? Yep, yep. Yeah. I'm sure if you wanted to put it on the track, you'd have to fit them, but um, yeah. it's, it's designed for fun on the road. Yeah, it certainly is. How's that, people? Oh well, I guess I better not stay in here too long. <laughs> well, that is um, that's something else. Boy, it's little. That's a nice sound, isn't it? One more time. Got to hear the clunk. <laughs> See me at the back there, Doug? Yeah, I saw you in the back. <laughs> I saw you skulking around the back of the Lambo. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, Dennis, and showing us your car. And uh, my pleasure. Can you give yeah, Dennis a round of applause? Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're finishing off another episode of the Hot Rod Show. We've got, the, you know, this Lamborghini here that is just kind of swish. And we've got this Model A tub here that is even swisher. So here's something I wanted to do for a long time. Gentlemen, start your engines. Bye Dennis, thanks for coming. Okay, Peter. Peter, see ya. Bye bye, take care. Woohoo! This episode of The Hot Rod Show is dedicated to Tina Wilson.